Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're going over the five things that I absolutely love about my 2010 Jeep JK Unlimited. Now I did a video a couple weeks ago about the five things I don't like about my Jeep JK Unlimited. It kind of really ended up being two because there's not a lot I don't like about it. Um, and I'm struggling to find only five things I love about it. Uh, so today we're going to go over the five things I love about it. If you guys want to go back and watch that video about the two things that I don't like about my Jeep JK. You can if you want, I'll leave a little link uh, up the top here if you guys want to check that out. But the five things I love about my 2010 Jeep JK Unlimited. But before we do get started, comment below about the things you love about your Jeep. It doesn't have to be a JK, it doesn't even have to be a Jeep. It can just be a four-wheel drive or it could be a Toyota Corolla, it could be a Honda Jazz, Honda Civic, whatever it might be. Just comment below um, in the comment section what you guys love about your Jeep, four-wheel drive, vehicle, whatever it might be. So let's get today, let's get today, let's get started on today's video. All right, so the first thing I absolutely love about my Jeep JK, especially the Unlimited. Now, there's a reason I went for the Unlimited is over the two-door. Now, coming from a TJ, the TJ, if, you've got, if you guys have ever owned a TJ before, you know there's absolutely no space in that Jeep whatsoever. So going from that to a JK, like it felt like I was going from an apartment to like a, a massive house. It was so, there's so much room in this Jeep, it is unbelievable. So, uh, there's a reason why I went for an unlimited one, because we uh, we have a set of mat tracks, yes. Uh, we have a set of recovery tracks, yes. But because we have a baby, and now the amount of things that a baby needs is unbelievable. So having the extra room of the four door plus this back section is, it's blows my mind actually. Like the amount of room that's in the back is amazing. So we've done two like biggest trips. Um, just to ignore like the nappies and stuff in the back here. We've done two biggest trips. Um, one was with our friend from um, London, and at the same time we took the dog, me and my wife, the baby, and her. So what we had three adults, a baby, and a dog in the Jeep with all our gear, and there was still plenty of room in the back. And one of the best things, especially if you guys got have kids, is that you can fit the pram or the push chair. We call them push chairs. You guys might call them pram. You can actually stand it stand it you can actually have it in the back standing up so all we've got to do is unlock it um, and take it out like it's one of the most amazing things i've ever seen in a jeep it's like it's literally amazing i know it's just like a small thing you can literally just unhook it pop you guys in there and oh, like so simple and easy and you've still got so much room. And I've also got my freedom panels um, tied up in the back as well, and there's still so much room. You can even fold the pram down. You've still got the sub in there. You've got room for everything. And if you guys watched my videos before, there's so many different storage uh, compartments or opportunities inside the JK, underneath the back seat, up in these bars, um, above the roll bar and the roof. I uh, did a video on that. It's such a great Jeep hack. Um, Utilising these spaces up the top here. So much room. Especially going from a TJ, if you guys got a YJ or something like that. I know that the JK is not everybody's like cup of tea or whatever you might think, but the amount of room in here is insane. Could even be too much room, um, but that's one thing I absolutely love about my Jeep JK. Now talking about these freedom panels, that's another thing I love. Going from the TJ, uh, I had the um, Rampage Bowless Soft Top. Now you can own it with that, it becomes like a bikini top. Um, and with a soft top, you have to like fold it all down. It becomes like this big mess in the back. Now having a soft top is soft top is awesome, but I wanted to keep the sun off my sun, the sun off my sun. But I don't want to run sunshade or anything like that. So I can keep this back section on, keep the sun off my sun, um, and still have the two freedom panels off. It's such an awesome idea. I wish that the TJ had something like that. I think you can buy a hard top that has like the removal panels in the TJ not 100% sure and I'm sure that'd be freaking expensive um, but the other thing I might get it's pretty expensive though is those like Sunrider <laughs> clip back things uh, you can get from Best Top I believe they sell them I think they're like a thousand bucks though so they're pretty pricey but even with the two freedom panels I don't mind that at all uh, it takes what five minutes if that to take them off saw them in back and you got all this freedom I love it I try and keep them off as much as possible. I love the freedom, I love the one in my hair. And my, even my son sitting in the back gets a nice cool breeze in summer. 
still keeps the sun off him. When well, you get a little bit burnt, that's why I'm wearing a hat. It's not even summer and it's bloody 125 degrees. But that's one, that's the second thing I absolutely love about my Jeep. Just how easy it is to get the top off, um, even if it's just the freedom panels, I love it. It makes life so much easier and you're just loving that Jeep life to the fullest. And it's so easy and quick. So while we're inside the Jeep here, brings me to the third thing I love about my Jeep JK. Now, this is not, statement, statement first, this is not a Rubicon, right? So this is a 2010 Sport JK Unlimited. So not a Rubicon, but I didn't know this when I bought it and the guy I bought it from didn't know it either. So yes, yes I've got an awesome deal on this. It has sway bar disconnect. It has an automatic sway bar disconnect. It has a rear axle lock. Doesn't have the front axle lock, but it has sway bar disconnect up the front, uh, which disconnects sway bar. I think it's like 30% more travel, which is fantastic. Fantastic! I used it on the last trip we did um, at the beach, and it helped so much. Not actually on the sand, but like getting to the sand through those fresh water tracks at Dubbo Island. Um, and the axle lock works as well. Like I've tried both of them, um, and I can't. I've asked a few people. I can't figure out if it's an added extra. But everything's like a OME OME thing. It's not like it's not like an ARB locker. It's not like a ARB sway bar disconnect, there's nothing like that. It's, it's all factory sort of components. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what it is, but absolutely that's one thing I absolutely love um, about my Jeep JK. Obviously not, not all sports are going to come with that, um, but mine did, which is fantastic. I don't know what he got, why it's there, what is an added extra from factory, what it could be. I have no idea. If you guys know, leave it in the comments below. Um, all right, so number four. Now this is a preference to me. A lot of people do run soft tops rather than hard top, but I love the hard top. And as you can see there, I've got roof racks. Now, not a lot of people like to run hard tops or roof racks, but the accessibility and the amount you can store up there is insane. Now, given I just went over how much storage I do have in the Jeep, and I do try and store as much as possible inside the Jeep for aerodynamics, uh, might get stolen and stuff like that. I do store my my okay, favorite freedom panels off. Side awning there, which is very convenient. I've got the D, D rings there for the recovery tracks. Um, and also I store my shovel up there. So I store everything that's dirty, that could get dirty, I always store up on the roof racks. And it's so awesome, because coming from a soft top, you can't really store anything on there. You can't store surfboards, uh, paddle boards, you can't store pretty much anything it's pretty much a dead space having that usability of a soft top especially of roof racks um now i do have the rhino rack backbone system also a bonus extra that also came with the jeep as well it just changes everything you can you can store whatever you want it doesn't matter um and the things you can take whether it be um like a kayak a stand-up paddleboard um surfboards whatever it might be it just opens up so, so many more different areas of what you can take and what you can uh, store and places you can go. I, that's just how I feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I love having the hard top because I can store extra things up there. and the Rhino Rack backbone system. All right. So number five. Moving on. The final last one is actually how it drives compared to other four-wheel drives I have driven. I've driven. I've had the TJ. I've had a Mitsubishi Trident and all those things. Now the TJ I think is a better four-wheel drive for harder obstacles and stuff like that just because it's a shorter wheelbase it's got a more powerful motor I think motor it's got a more powerful motor and I think it's just a bit more drivable and easier to drive off-road now I think that's due to the fact that one of the things I didn't like about the Jeep it's got a uh, electric throttle controller it's got an electric throttle controller it just makes it a little bit harder to drive um, and control your gas and stuff like that when you're off-road which I don't really like but the Drivability um, on road and off road is superb. It drives more like a car and less like a truck or a or a Jeep. No, that's probably not the right way to put it. It probably drives more like a it drives more like a car and less like a four wheel drive. It's got bigger tires, it's slightly lift and stuff like that. And normally when you do those things, they drive like a bag of crap on road. And this thing drives so smooth. You can drive. I've never been 110 in a Jeep before in my life. I can do it in the JK. Um, the wind noise is a lot less because I've got the hard top and stuff like that. But the drivability on road, uh, now given it's not the best 
fuel efficient car around. Um, you can get better ones. The TJ was probably slightly worse um, on fuel, um, but the drivability, the amount of room it's got, uh, just makes it awesome to drive on road and also off road at the same time. Like most of the stuff here, it's not obviously very hard, but I did most of it in two wheel drive. And there's another section, like kind of over, over there somewhere, um, that I was like, ah. Nah, I'm not going to get up there in two-wheel drive. I probably need four-wheel drive, and I was a bit skeptical that I was going to get up there at all. And I did. I went up there in two-wheel drive. Didn't need low range. Didn't need four-wheel drive at all. It was fantastic. So the fifth and final thing that I love about my 2010 Jeep JK Unlimited is the drivability of it, on-road and off-road. Um, now I haven't done any massive trips in this. Uh, it drives fantastic on the beach. Drives fantastic on the dirt. Um, handles bumps and ruts and everything as it should. It doesn't feel like the Jeep's going to fall apart doesn't feel uncomfortable um, and I love that it has carpet in it as well that's not gonna be like the last thing but I love that it's got carpet in it so that's pretty much it for today guys if you like this video smash that like button don't forget to smash that subscribe button at the same time as well let me know below what the five things you love about your vehicle whether it be a Jeep, four-wheel drive, Toyota Corolla, Honda Jazz, Honda Civic whatever it might be um, and let me know if you guys know about those hard tops for the TJ as I said before we probably end up with another TJ on the channel at some point I hope, I promise you guys that we will have another TJ on the channel at some point in this YouTube career. But that's it for today guys, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.